This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, March 4th. I'm James Spann. Uh, kind of cold and wet tonight south of here. Maybe a little bit of rain as far north as Interstate 20. Thursday, chilly and wet. But hey, the news is better by the end of the week and the weekend. Let's go in there and take a look. Uh, some of the Skycam shots around the network. Another cold, gray, raw March day. That's the Chiha Skycam. Temperatures this afternoon only in the 30s and 40s across the state. Up the road at Gadsden. Thick clouds are in place there. And down at Gulf Shores, it's cold, it's wet, rain is falling, and they are in the upper 30s at mid-afternoon. Goodness, they ought to be close to 70 here this time of the year. Pretty impressive wave train across the uh, southern states. You can see one pushing precipitation across Louisiana and parts of South Mississippi. The next one out around the Four Corners. We'll deal with that one on Thursday. Uh, there's the radar with that lead wave at 244 this afternoon. The bulk of the rain along and south of U.S. 80. Uh, in fact, it looks like there could be a bit of sleet mixed in with that rain uh, uh, down to the south of Lounsboro in uh, Lowndes County between Selma and Montgomery. But so far, nothing happening up this way. We'll still mention a slight chance of some light rain, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Anniston, but the big rains should be south of here. And yep, doesn't look like March. We should be in the 60s. We're only in the 30s and 40s at mid-afternoon. Birmingham, 43. Tuscaloosa 39, Columbus and Meridian 34. And look at Mobile. They've got 37. New Orleans, it's Mardi Gras. They're sitting at 39 with a soaking, miserable rain falling. That's not exactly Chamber of Commerce weather. And around the nation, the cold air extends north to the Great Lakes. But it's encouraging to see it starting to warm up in places like Denver and Amarillo and El Paso and we think we'll finally break out into warmer weather late this week and over the weekend. Winter weather advisories in effect this afternoon. Parts of Louisiana and southwest Mississippi. You'd never expect to see that on a March afternoon. But generally speaking, the weather relatively quiet for much of the nation. And here's the rain over the course of the next five days. This carries us through the weekend, through Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. The bigger numbers should be east of the state. In Alabama, the rain amounts about one-half inch for this part of the state. Heavier totals down around Mobile and Dothan. Let's check modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow. And this is at 500 millibars. The uh, first wave is uh, passing by, the second wave over Texas, and this is Thursday. You can see that second wave uh, digging down into Louisiana and Mississippi. So what does it mean down at the surface in terms of sensible weather? Let's take a look. This is the high-res NAM. This is valid tonight at 8 o'clock. With that lead wave, this is suggesting rain could be falling, maybe some good rain, all the way up to maybe Calera and Alabaster and Talladega and Anniston. Some heavier rains around Rockford, Ashland, Lineville, Alexander City, Clanton. Uh, but from Birmingham north and west, hardly any rain at all. So it just depends on where you are if you're going to get rain tonight. And then tomorrow morning, this is at 10 o'clock, we have seen some runs that uh, tried to leave a little lingering rain in here. And we'll mention a slight chance tomorrow morning, but it looks like the bulk of the rain should be gone. And there's a chance the sun might pop out tomorrow afternoon, but don't get your hopes up. I'm just not convinced we see much sun until probably Friday. Uh, and I don't think we see 60s. The high tomorrow should be in the 50s. And then the second wave on Thursday, that's a good-looking rain event. Uh, this is suggesting a relatively big rain for much of north and central Alabama. Uh, looks like we might see uh, maybe a one-half inch of rain, maybe more in spots. This run clearly more aggressive than recent runs with that rain on Thursday. Uh, this is the GS, uh, GFS view of that, a nice surface load down in the Gulf. And, oh, don't you know if it were colder, it might be a big snow setup, but thank goodness this is March and not January. So just a uh, cold rain on Thursday. I don't think we get out of the 40s. The uh, models seem to be too aggressive with the temperatures. You know, at one point, they tried to push us up in the 60s. Uh, again, just looks like a raw, chilly, rainy day on Thursday. And then Friday, everything's gone, and the weather begins to improve dramatically. Looks great. Uh, Friday, the sky should be sunny, the high in the low 60s. That'll be like a heat wave. And then Saturday, what a beautiful day to kick off the weekend. Lots of sunshine, the high around 70. Doesn't get much better. Sunday, we have seen some uncertainty with model runs. Let's see what this batch suggests. This is Sunday at midday, troughing uh, back over West Texas. And down below that, the 
A uh, new run of the GFS keeps the rain well west of the state, and this is in line with the European and other runs. So we're beginning to think Sunday will be a mostly dry day, and we'll kind of phase out that chance of showers on Sunday. And no cool air. The high should be close to 70 on Sunday with the rain well to the west. Monday, the rain still remains to the west. We would be dry and mild. And finally, Tuesday, a, a surface low moves inland from the Gulf, and that would suggest a chance of rain uh, Tuesday of next week, a week from today. That's March 11th. So confidence is increasing in that idea. Go out there a few more days. March the 16th, pretty good-looking rain event. Surface low near Meridian. That would just be a rain event, no severe weather. And wow, the next day on the 17th, look what's back. The old eastern trough. The winter that never ends. And uh, down below that, in the wake of the departing uh, bomb up there, 977 millibars. What a storm that would be, if that's right. It would be cold with a chance of snow flurries at mid-March. But, you know, this is voodoo. This will probably vanish on the next run. But could that happen? Yes. But that's no forecast. We're just looking for trends. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.